The title of the story is Achutaka by Kinzong Chojin. Jimmy, is uncle coming? Yes, he's coming from there. Jimmy, get down from the stairs. You'll fall down. What are you doing here? We want to listen to a story from uncle. Look, I have brought all my friends. Please, uncle, tell us a story. Okay, let's go. Once upon a time, in a village, a Simo had come and eaten all the people there. Uncle, what is Sinmo? Sinmo is a ghost who eats humans. Only a girl was left to be eaten. What is the girl's name? The girl's name is Lamu. She was very witty and the Sinmo could not catch her. The Sinmo chased Lamu all over the place. After a while, Lamu climbed on a fruit tree and hid herself. The Sinmo discussed herself into an old woman and came up to the fruit tree. Where are you coming from, old woman? I'm coming from Sukchuka village. The Simon had eaten all the people in my village. Why didn't it eat you? I am old and weak. I don't have flesh to eat or blood to drink. Maybe that is the reason why I am still alive. Can you please give me an apple from your tree? I am thirsty and hungry. I just have a few fruits left, but since you are hungry, I will throw you one. Okay, I will catch from here. I could not catch the fruit. I can't bend down to pick it up too. Can you please come down and pick it up for me? I won't come down. I climbed up to hide myself from the simon. Instead, I'll throw you another one. You better catch it. Oh dear, I could not catch it again. Please pick it up for me. Please, please. You are like my daughter. All right, I'll climb down and pick it up for you. As Lamu climbed down, the Sinmo caught her. The Sinmo boiled water in a big pot, put Lamu in a big basket and hung her above the pot. She was going to cook her and eat. The Sinmo asked her husband to look after Lamu till the water boiled. Look, that is a very nice village. All the people look very healthy. Don't lie to me. I can't see anything from here. You won't be able to see from down there. I can see from here. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I am the only one surviving in this village. That village has a lot of healthy people. In that case, come down. I will climb up and look. No, I like it here. It looks so nice from here. Let me take a look. You come down. You were lying to me. I couldn't see anything from here. Get me down. If you wanted to come down, who told you to climb up? The two of you wanted to cook me? Now I will cook you. You stay up there. Get me down. So, Hamu put him into boiling water out. When the Sinmo came back, 
she gets very angry and went after Thamu. The Sinmu chased Thamu over mountains and down the valley. Thamu saw a house and quickly got into it and hit herself. Thamu climbed onto the first floor then to the rooftop and shouted to Ajutaka for help. Ajutaka, throw me an iron chain and not a cotton rope. Ajutaka! Ajutaka, please help me. The salmon is coming to eat me. Ajutaka, throw me an iron chain and not a cotton rope. Ajutaka! Wait, let me get up and wash my face. Ajutaka! The woman has climbed onto the roof. She is very close now. Please pull me up, Achutaka. Just then, Achutaka threw an iron chain towards Thamu. Thamu caught it and Achutaka pulled her towards him. Achutaka, throw me a cotton rope, not an iron chain. The Sinmo also called Ajutaka just like Thamu did. Instead of asking for iron chain, the Sinmo mistakenly asked for a cotton rope. The Sinmo caught the rope and was pulled up. The rope broke and the Sinmo fell off the sky. She banged her head on the rock and died. That's the end of the story as told by our grandparents.